Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how we can animate a zoom into a specific region of a video clip over a short period of time using keyframe animation. So this is a pretty straightforward tutorial for DaVinci Resolve 16. The idea here is that we need to change the values for zoom and position over a short period of time, and we'll be trying to focus on some item in our screen. In this case, it makes sense to kind of do the upper half body of the Statue of Liberty over there. Now for any property in the inspector, you can change the value by either clicking on it and then typing in a value or clicking on the value and then holding the left mouse button down and scrolling it either to the right or the left, which will increase or decrease the value. However, in order to make the value change to the new value over time, we need to use keyframes to create an animation for that effect. So really this is quite simple in order to do. I'm going to assume that you're going to be starting at the start of your video clip. So I'm going to frame zero for this particular clip. And that's where we're going to set up the first keyframe for the zoom effect. So in order to add a keyframe, we need to go to the right of the properties in the inspector. And you'll see for each property that you can animate, there will be a grayed out diamond. So if we click on that, that creates the keyframe. And you know that a frame has a keyframe because it will have a red diamond instead of a gray diamond. And now we can change the value over time by going to another position in the clip, such as one or two seconds in here. And then we can set a new value in here. So we don't need to manually click the keyframe diamond again. Uh, once there's been one keyframe created and we change the value at any other frame, a new keyframe will automatically be created. So if I increase the zoom here, you'll see that the keyframe diamond immediately turns red. So now that we've gone ahead and created two keyframes, if I go back to the start of this clip and we hit play, you'll notice that it will now have a animation between those two keyframes. So at frame zero, I hit play. And what should happen is that it linearly transitions between the original value and the new value. If we need to change any of the values, we can go over to those keyframe diamonds and hit the left and right arrows to navigate between keyframe points. So you can see we can go back to the first keyframe by hitting the left arrow and then back to the second keyframe by hitting the right arrow. All we need to do to change that value at the second keyframe is to increase or decrease it, and we've edited the keyframe. So now you also notice that the statue is still off-center. So when I said zoom into a specific area, I mean that we're not just zooming in on the shot, but we also need to pan the position of the shot. So we can do that by keyframing out the position as well. So I'm going to start by going to where we have the first keyframe by clicking the left arrow on the zoom. And then I'm going to mark a keyframe here for position as well by clicking on the keyframe diamond for position. Next, we're going to hit the right arrow on the zoom keyframe area to get to where the zoom keyframe is, the second zoom keyframe. And we're going to adjust the value of the position here by decreasing the Y value to make it look upwards. And now we have the Statue of Liberty in our shot. You'll notice that a red keyframe for position has been created as well. So now we have two keyframes created for both zoom and position that are at exactly the same time. So if we go play it back from frame zero, you'll notice that both the position and the zoom are now animating over time. So we can play that back one more time there. But you'll notice that if I keep playing it back after the point where the second keyframe ends, that the Statue of Liberty will drift off center a little bit over time. So we can go a little bit of a step further with this video. If we want to try to keep it centered, we can add in more keyframes. So I'm going to start by going to the second keyframe for the position, and I'm going to adjust the position X to get the statue centered a little bit more. So uh, let's increase the X position until it is roughly centered. So that will automatically adjust at that keyframe. At the end of the clip, I'm going to recenter it by adjusting the position X and Y. Uh, note that if you go to the final frame on a video clip, you'll get black space. So I'm going one frame before that. And uh, now I want to readjust the statue to be centered again. So I'm going to bring it in line with the center somewhere around there. And uh, maybe we adjust the Y position as well. I'm going to hit back to go to the second keyframe and see where it's at. So it looks like the position X can be adjusted a little bit more to have it line up with the first keyframe. And uh, that's actually looking pretty close there. We could adjust it a little bit by zooming in on the second shot and then moving the Y down. And with that, they should be pretty close together. I mean, over like an eight second frame difference, that shouldn't be very noticeable. 
So now if we go back to the first frame of the video clip and we play it back, we'll have the zoom in effect. And then after the first two seconds, using the animated properties, we roughly are able to keep the object in the center of the screen. And all of that is done with some very basic keyframe animation. But just for the simple tutorial on how to zoom into a specific area using keyframe animation in DaVinci Resolve 16, that's going to be it. So I've been Chris, I hope you guys found something useful in this video, and I will see you guys in my future video content.